kids. Where do we even begin? They're a handful, and we love them for it. One of the rites of passage of parenting is navigating the I'm so bored moments. Yeah, surely your kids aren't bored already. I mean, summer is just getting started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The struggle right. is real. <laughs> and to bring a little levity to the situation, our friend and comedian Aaron Cliver has some perspective. How the struggle been? is real. It is, right? We're good. We're, you know what? I thought this summer would be better since we were at home for yeah. like years. You know what I mean? Right. And I yeah. thought, don't you enjoy your home and your yard that I cut every four days yeah. so that you can feel like you're Beautiful. on turf? Pristine. Right? Pristine, 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 whatever. whatever it's, it's fine. Called. They get it. Uh, yeah, but no, they're bored. Day two, day two. That's how quickly it sets in. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you say? What do you do? Huh. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm, of course, it's not my like. I can't. I don't have any skills uh, at all. I'm the world's okayest parent. Right. So that's your, that's my your wife, slogan. my wife tries to come up with like organized activities. Like, by the way, I'm not no doctor or parenting expert or Dr. G or anything. Like, I'm not. I don't know anything. Okay. My advice is go outside. That's what it is. Yeah, go outside and don't yeah. come in until it's dinner time. Which is great. Yeah. Yeah. My wife tries to organize. Like she'll she'll do she'll trick them into schoolwork. That's a good one. That's like like Ooh, she'll be like, oh, do. if you do this math, you can play on a screen. You know what I mean? And they're like, okay. Worksheets only last till like the mid June, and they're like, wait yeah. a second, this is actually schoolwork. It, they catch on at some point. Yeah. It's like they all of a sudden hate everything that we own. It, <laughs> Within a week, we have toys. Lit we have, literally, the house covered in plastic figures we have, and yes. toys and, and dress everything. ups. We have chalk, we have bikes, we have outdoors, we have pristine grass, we have Netflix, trampolines, uh, Disney Amazon Plus. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> HBO, Netflix, whatever. What do you want from me? Everything. Yeah, it, we we try to like we try to do the organized stuff. We go outside. We bought. We got frisbee golf. We tried that. Oh. We have a. Oh. You know, yeah. I don't even know what frisbee golf is. Aaron. If you if you have a big enough yard, you don't even need a big enough yard. You could put like a, a trash can out in the front yard and go in your backyard and just throw a frisbee. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then you get That's it in the right. trash can. Yeah. Frisbee golf. Boom. You win. Done that. That's great. Yeah. Uh, my kids want a pool. We're poor. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, so we, you so hit mini enough. golf, you know, whatever. Yeah, we um, have one of the pla the hard plastic pools. That we seems, got one of those too. It seems to help on the truly. After Wendy and I get in, if there's room for the kids, <laughs> then, then oh, then I, we've maybe, been in it. I don't I, drive past. We're in a kiddie pool, waving. <laughs> Some Chablis, whatever. Something. Yeah. Is this in the drink? front yard? I picture it in the front yard. It actually is way more in the front yard because our front yard <laughs> okay. is super flat. Yeah. So people do drive past beep, we're in the pool. I love that. Just whatever. We were just talking about this. There is front yard business and backyard business. And sometimes you got to take it to the backyard. Sure is. Right? <laughs> yeah. Is that not, no, no, absolutely. Is that not right? No, they're my. My kids swim in the front yard, whatever. Even when they're littler, you know, diapers in the front yard. I don't care. Yeah. I'm whatever. I'm from Steel Valley forever. This is, this <laughs> this is what we do. It's all okay. Swimming in diapers in the front porch. Let's do oh. this. <laughs> I love the slogan Steel Valley forever. Steel Valley forever, guys. Yeah. Steel Valley. I'm we still haven't forever. seen you. We haven't seen you in a while, and especially in studio. So what yeah. have you been up to? And you have a show coming up too. Yeah, I you know, I had my uh, Amazon special Grown Dad uh, right. come out the during work. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, you know, uh, I didn't get to like tour a lot with it. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's been it's been a minute, so I started writing new material. I, as soon as I started to get back on the road, go to my favorite clubs, I just was like, I had to write new material. I couldn't, yeah. you know, right. like people are like, do that thing from the. I'm like, I can't. So, so now, still, like, oh no. I'm excited to do this show uh, June 18th, Father Day, Saturday at the new Bottle Rocket, and I'm um, just working out like a new hour of material about being a dad and a husband and. Maybe some pandemic stuff that I've worked out on, you know? Like, yeah, you gotta work that stuff out. Discovering myself. Right. Well, what, <laughs> a lot I mean, what, of time. To what's discover. it like to have an audience yeah. back? Because, I mean, you feed off it, right? Like, if you're doing jokes to Zoom, like, it's just not the oh, same. Oh, no. Right? If, yeah, doing jokes to Zoom is like you come out and, like, everyone's like, we have a comedian at 1230 for work. Right. Like, and then simultaneously, 50 people look at their phones and hit mute. Like on Zoom, and you're like, "Well, I'm just gonna do jokes," <laughs> and then you get an Applebee gift card that you can't use because the restaurant's closed. You know what I mean? Like, that was Zoom this, during the pandemic. This Comedy happened to you and not like to a friend. This is yeah, a true no, story. that sounds very specific. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but no, it, it. I'm telling you what. For me, I, I'm not like a, a writer. You know, so I have to be with the audience. I have to like right. experience them to kind of see what they like and work on things. So like for me, just being in front of an audience 
just helps me write material. It just helps yeah. me, oh, like, you like this? I'll do more, you know. Yeah. Uh, Love it. Oh, so yeah. fun. I can't wait. Makes sense. <laughs> well, good. We'll have to come out and see you. It's, you're a blast, as always. Thanks, friends. So, we good always love having you here. <laughs> I like being here. I'm not at home. This is great. And we're going to have dad jokes with you coming up next week to celebrate for Father's Day, so look forward to those next week. All right, and as Aaron mentioned, at Bottle Rockets and the Arlington, Mount Washington area, and that happens on July. No, June. June. Why am I saying July? You planned I it in said, my head earlier. I Today. July it happened. It happened. I, know. I know. I don't want it to speed he's, by. All right. he's bored. June 18th. <laughs> June 18th is the date. I don't want to screw that up. <laughs> okay. And one lucky dad will be hitting the racetrack. We haven't announced our winner yet, so stay tuned. Week one of our Mad for Dad Father's Day giveaway still to come.